time for another Northwest Market Update. I'm coming to you live from beautiful Sammamish Commons in Sammamish, Washington, my hometown. Straight across the street. I don't know if you can see it. Straight across the street from Skyline Stadium. Anyway, enough about that. So, in this month's Market Update, I'm going to explain to you why September is going to be the best September that we've seen in decades for selling your home. There are basic economic fundamentals at work that you're going to love if you're thinking about selling. And no, you are not too late, so stay tuned. I am so excited to share with you why this September is going to be the best September in decades for sellers who want to sell their homes. If you want to know what's happening in the market, what's happening to your home's value, etc., and want to know about any of my videos when they get released, pound the subscribe button right here, hit that little bell so that you get notified when I release a new video, and you'll know what's going on before the rest of the world. Now, on to our show. So many of you are probably wondering, wait, what? September? Isn't September too late? Aren't the kids going back to school? Normally, yeah, that is the case. August is better than September. July is better than August. But this year, this September is going to be different. And there are four main reasons why. And I'm going to cover those for you right now. Number one, interest rates are at historic lows. I mean, never seen before levels of interest. Inventory, also at historic lows. We haven't had inventory this low in over 15 years. So what happens when rates are really low and inventory is low? Well, what happens is buyers have more buying power because interest rates are low. Their money goes further. They also feel like they can be more aggressive when bidding on homes so when you have a shortage of inventory, I don't want to get run over, you have buyers who are willing to really go above and beyond to try and win that property. So top four reasons, low interest rates, low inventory. Did you know that purchase money transactions, purchase money loan applications are up over 22% right now as compared to this time last year? That's right, in a pandemic, over 22% more applications to buy houses. And it's a confluence of low interest rates and people wanting to, to move up, right? The number four reason for September being so great this year is because we are under delivering inventory to the market by an estimated 300,000 homes. So that means every year, 300,000 more homes are needed than are being built or added to the inventory. So that inventory issue, if you remember my video from last month, I was talking about the birth rates from 1986 to 1993 and how the average first time home buyer is 34 years old. And those first time home buyers coming into the market, they, they take homes. They aren't like a move up buyer. Somebody who sells a home, returns it to the inventory, and then buys a new one. They have a net neutral effect on inventory. First time home buyers, all they do is take. And the average first time home buyer is 34 years old. So we have to look at those birth rates from 34 years ago. And what you'll see is they continue to increase for the seven years that followed, which means next year we're gonna have more first time home buyers than we had this year. And if at the same time we're delivering 300,000 fewer homes, we're going to have a shortage of inventory for the next seven years. So what does all this mean? What, what can you do? Well, we can turn around. Well, if you're a buyer, it means you better be ready, right? Get pre-approved, find a good lender. If you don't have one, I can refer you. If you have questions, DM me, reach out, go to my website. Selling with Ed is easy. 
I'll be happy to take care of you, give you whatever advice you need, put you in touch with the right people at the same time. All right? So that's it for this month. Coming to you late in August, but with the goods on September. Take care.